What happens is when you're taking these different areas of tissue out and you're rearranging the tissue, reducing it and lifting it, everything is kind of smushed or flattened and tightened. Immediately right after a breast reduction surgery, the patient should expect certain changes to occur. The first changes is going to be significant amount of edema and swelling. I tell my patients preoperatively that their breasts are going to look like gymnast breasts because what happens is when you're taking these different areas of tissue out and you're rearranging the tissue, reducing it and lifting it, everything is kind of smushed or flattened and tightened. So the breast, instead of looking soft, round and supple, looks like a flat, hard, tight breast and women can be extremely like anxious afterwards and they can be alarmed. Like, look at the shape of my breast. This doesn't look like a breast. It looks like this tight, hard, edematous tissue. And that's what they should expect it to look like. Uh, even if you don't take that much tissue and you do just a very aggressive breast lift, it still looks tight and flat. So expect that. That's normal. Uh, the nipple and the areola areas can become quite um, distended and can swell and can look quite deforming. That always resolves over six to eight weeks and it smooths out and it flattens quite nice as well. So these are changes that is, are seen in almost all breast reduction patients. Swelling, flattening, tightening, swelling of the nipperilla complex, a little bit of fluid can also be seeping through the incisions and that's not abnormal so dressing changes two or three times a day with gauze should be done as well.